Now, I wasn't going to make a preview for the Scotland Czech Republic game, but I have just seen the starting 11 and I have noticed that Kieran Tierney has been left out. Now, I know he's had his injury problems this season for Arsenal, but he definitely played in the last four games and I expected him to at least be in the 23 man squad for. For for the game, either him be on the even on the bench, but he's not. He's been dropped. And now, does this mean that he's injured for the tournament? I'm not too sure the answer to that yet. And I'm sure we'll hear a lot to come in. But that is a huge impact on Scotland because we've seen them time and time again what they do down that left hand side with Robertson and with Tierney. We know Robertson creates the space for Tierney. It's essentially like playing two left backs, and they cause problems. And in, in, in it's one of Steve Clark's setups. Now, the issue this may have here is that Tierney's replacement is Liam Cooper. And Liam Cooper just isn't as quick as Kieran Tierney. He's just not as quick, not as fast. He's not got that same attacking prowess that Tierney does. Now, I'm not saying that by any stretch that Liam Cooper is not a good player. I'm just simply saying he's not as good as Kieran Tierney. And I don't really think that's an offensive thing to say either because we have seen it for Arsenal. We've seen it for Scotland and even for Celtic that we, we always heard about Tierney being this fantastic left back. And he definitely is. And he's definitely going to be a very, very much missed part for this game. Because realistically, this game is how Scotland have not, they've not been to a tournament in 23 years. You're playing there, probably the easiest team, I think it's fair to say, in the group. I think if you look at all four teams, Czech Republic are the team that everyone should be beating. Um, but missing such a key player in your starting game of your starting tournament could cause an impact, especially if you can't play the same tactics. Because obviously we know that left-hand side causes teams problems. Like I said, Robertson creating space, Tierney making the more direct run. And you can still do that with Cooper, but it's just going to be sort of how long have Scotland known they're not going to play Tierney for? I don't know. Has it going to impact it? Have they going to have enough time to perfect it? But I'm sure Steve Clark, he is a very, very good manager, knows what he's doing. Um, other surprises, Grant Handley, for example, is starting in the Scotland eleven. Um, Czech Republic, as we're seeing, are playing Kufal and Suchek, which I think we both expected fantastic seasons for West Ham. Um, I know Scotland haven't lost in their last four games against Czech Republic either, come in, in with three wins and a draw. So I think that kind of sets us up on what we should expect for a result. But as we know, tournament football is different than qualifying football, as friendly football. And will the pressure of 23 years of not playing at a tournament get to these Scotland players? Will they be too hyped up and too passionate and it caused them making silly mistakes? I don't know. I think the thing though we do have to remember is how Scotland got into the tournament was through the Nations League and that's not to take a thing away from them the fact that you got into the Euros deserves that you got into the Euros but it's almost as if we've seen other countries not get here and Scotland kind of be rewarded for, for, for winning Group C and then they had to go and do the best that they could do for the qualifiers beating teams like Israel and such are not, not simple tasks for the, a, a country the size of Scotland especially the difficult teams to break down and play and Steve Clark has done a fantastic job but what does this mean? What does Tierney mean Will it impact the result? Now, I think, I still think Scotland have probably 90% of me thinks they'll win. This has definitely impacted it though because he's such a fantastic player. But there's also that little bit in the back of my mind where will Scotland come out and will they try and win too much? Will they try and go for too much? Will they try and bite off more than they can chew? Will they try and hope and pray that? Will they be too passionate? Will they be too aggressive? Will they make simple mistakes because they're so motivated to be there we've seen it before we've seen it happen again for sure but will Steve Clark be able to settle them to go out there and make that passion and that excitement and nervous energy in them drive straight into results and drive straight into playing fantastic football or will the players not be able to adapt um, so I think for me I'm going to say Scotland are going to win this game 2-1 because they always have a goal in them we see it time and time again but Tomine he plays a lot more defensive for um Scotland than he does for, for Manchester United and even Man, Man U probably is too much def too defensive. He's more a box to box midfielder. Scotland sometimes play him as a centre back, so that could you know really impact on how they play. So yeah, that's my preview. I hope you enjoy. Please leave a comment on what you think the score will be, and we'll see.